Hello and welcome to the second video of this series where we are going to talk about why data science. So if I talk about various different scenarios, why we can use data science, why company wants to use data science. So we'll talk about four or five examples, try to understand where data science can be used. But before that, if you did not subscribe to the channel, you can subscribe to it. Click the bell icon for regular updates because lots and lots of detailed data science use cases you are going to get in this particular series of data science. So let's take an example. We are having a car which is an old car and I want to sell that car. Now question arises what should be the price? I have, let's say, for example, a small car, which is nothing but uh, all to 800. Now I want to sell that particular car. What will be the uh, what will be the price? Maybe the actual cost of a car is what? It's around, you can say, 3.5 lakhs. Now you want to sell this car. Now it's a second-hand car. Obviously, my my price cannot be more than 3.5 lakhs for sure. It's a second hand, so it should be less. But how much? And how will I decide that? Maybe I can decide through the type of a car, whether it is a hatchback, whether it is a, a sedan, whether it is a SUV or so on. I can decide based on whether the car is accidental or not. If the car is accidental, then obviously my price will reduce drastically. What is the mileage of a car? Very much important. The oil prices are shooting as of now, not, but in normal days it shoots, right? So it's like very important aspect that mileage should be good. How much kilometer driven? Because again, if there is a more kilometer driven already, then it's already a very, very much used car and the condition may not be good. And finally, maybe I can think of whether the car is automatic or manual. So these are the things we can think of. There may be other stuffs as well, but let's say I want to decide based on these things. Then I want to predict the car price. Now car price is a continuous number. For example, 20,000, 40,000, 59,600, 130,000. So when I want to predict a continuous number, this is a continuous number which I want to predict the car price. And to predict a continuous number, the algorithm we use is regression. So when you want to predict a continuous number, the algorithm which we can think of is regression. Or I can say the mechanism which we think of is regression. In regression, we can have multiple different type of algorithms. But from here, we are able to understand when I want to predict a continuous number, for example, salary of an employee based on experience, simple example. I want to predict a salary which is nothing but a continuous number. The algorithm which we will go for is regression. That is one of the examples. So that is one of the use cases. Now, if you have gone through the various websites like carwala.com and other dot coms, right, we're selling the second hand car. In that case, you will see that they are giving you some rough idea about the car price. So basically, they are running the algorithm at the back end. Suppose I want to predict a policy price, policybazaar.com and other websites. In that case, we can just go and put the details about yourself. Let's say what's your age, is there any disease or not. Based on that, it will give you some premium amount. What is that? It's a prediction which they are doing based on the data which they have. So that is one of the use cases which we can think of in data science. Second, I want to know whether my customer will purchase the product or not, or whether my customer who is existing customer will stay with me or not. So here I am predicting a discrete value, whether it is yes or no. So when I want to predict something, whether it is yes or no, then it's a classification type of a problem. Now this is again 
one type of problem which we normally face for example these days corona is very much uh, impacting the lives i want to know whether my patient will have corona or not or my patient is having corona or not i want to do the prediction of that based on various features again like whether he is sneezing whether he is coughing and so on based on various features i can decide whether this guy is suffering from corona or not yes or no so when you want to predict whether it is yes or no then we can go for classification type of algorithms there are a lot many around 70% of the problem which we solve in data science are mostly classification type of problems for example whether my patient will get disease or not whether my employee will leave me or not whether you get promotion or not whether rain will happen or not and so on it's a huge list next is clustering it is one of the machine learning algorithm and this is known as unsupervised learning we'll talk about unsupervised and supervised in another video in detail but as of now here it is a clustering algorithm what is the purpose of clustering let's say i want to know whether my product will be purchased by someone or not simple example let's say i am creating python courses i have various students in my class who are from different background let's say one from mechanical engineering one from civil engineering one from electronics engineering one from it engineering one from computer science one from medical one from maybe dance maybe some are chefs now what is the chances that these guys will purchase the product the python course the chances are that it people and computer science may purchase it because they want to grow their career there that's why so clustering is helping me to segregate the data so that i can do proper marketing uh, you can say strategy because my budget is not big that i i can market only 100 students now my budget is not that big it's only 100 students total students i have is around 10000 so i want to hit those students who are actually going to purchase this product because that will help them in their career maybe there are chances that students from mechanical civil also purchase this course because there are very less jobs in the market for these type of engineering so in that case they may also purchase the course but as of now my budget my budget is not that big that's why i will just target it and computers but later on i can expand it to other engineering and other branches as well if my budget is big or huge so this is one of the simple example maybe something like i can also create an example let's say i i have a car battery company and i give a car on rental basis to the drivers now what i want is i want to give the batteries to those driver and drivers who are like driving the car very smoothly without any much of speed but i also have to give the battery to the drivers who are like very rash driver and uh, running the car like driving the car in a very very fast speed now what i will do i'll create a cluster of these customers and based on these clusters let's say one is smooth driver one is rash driver i will decide the price of the battery which i'm giving on rental obviously those guys who are smooth drivers i will give them the battery in a cheaper price on a rental basis and for the drivers who are rash drivers i'll give them a battery in a maybe expensive price because the chances of my battery to uh, die is more in that particular scenario so that is one more example which we can think of what else there is a concept of association rule as well the purpose of association rule is nothing but it is helping us to find some association between the products for example there is a uh, good story from us retail store that if someone is purchasing beer purchasing diaper as well or vice versa they found out this association so it's a very unusual combination that if someone is purchasing beer is purchasing diaper as well very very unusual combination no one can think of it 
but still it has now what should a retailer sh uh, will do maybe i can put beer and diaper together in the retail store something like this so that it will be a customer satisfaction they will very well go and pick the product and leave the retail store maybe i will purposefully put the products far from each other so that if someone is purchasing beer he has to traverse to entire retail store and purchase diaper as well and during that process there are chances that he will purchase some other products as well that is one of the strategies maybe i can come up with some offer bring or buy two beers get one diaper free it's an unusual combination but yes because they are purchasing let's maybe maybe we can go for it or you purchase two diapers i'll give you one beer free right so it's an interesting offer but yeah as we found out we can go for go for that so this type of recommendations we can go for this type of association when we are getting for example let's say i'm having an insurance industry when i was working for deloitte I, there was a client and there we worked for the insurance product and we created a association rule where if someone is purchasing life insurance policy he can purchase maybe health insurance policy as well and that is how we can come up with some offers or all those options we can think of what else so the next is i went for one training to one of the uh, two wheelers company and they wanted to create an algorithm which will help them to predict what will be the revenue of the bikes based on the crude oil price so obviously you can very well see the trend that when my crude oil price will increase my revenue of a bike may decrease because the mileage if the mileage of a bike is not good then obviously i have to fill more uh, crude oil more petrol and in that case this will be an expensive affair people may not purchase two wheelers because this bike is having a low mileage for example but if the crude oil price is decreasing then chances are there that my bike price will bike revenues will increase because people will purchase the bikes because the crude oil price is reducing so this is like over the period of time if i am doing some predictions then it is a time series analysis so these are some of the examples which i can think of and obviously there are lots and lots of examples which we can create and we are going to talk about that in the series in detail one by one so hope to see you in the next video where we'll talk about scope of data science for you guys how will you get the job and what is the chances that you as a layman can get into this field so see you in the next video till then happy analyzing if you not did not subscribe the channel till now please do that and also click the bell icon for the next interesting video till then happy analyzing